to Dallas athlete, Lauren Hale Poe. I'm currently an RN. I work at Texas Health Resources, HEB, which is in Bedford, Texas. So as an ER nurse, you've seen a variety of cases through your career. However, I'm sure this past few months, you've seen a lot more surrounding the coronavirus and this pandemic. Can you describe to us a few of the things that you've seen and how your crew has responded to the pandemic? What's crazy about the COVID-19 is people can come in with the most vague symptoms. I mean, it can range anything from the typical shortness of the breath, cough, uh, fever, or it could just be, you know, vomiting or diarrhea or loss of taste or smell. It could be any one of those. It could be a big combination of those. So it's really hard to tell you know, at first, when people came in and they said one of those things, it's like we put them in the isolation and, you know, we put all the uh, PPE on and we try to make sure that we're covering all our bases. But it's just really hard to know anybody coming in could have it. Not every patient that comes to the ER will have space in a hospital bed. How, how do you determine or how does your staff determine who gets admitted and who do you tell to send home to monitor their symptoms? Depending on how severe their symptoms are, we look at their oxygen level. If it's below 90%, that's kind of a red flag. Uh, we take a chest x-ray and see if they've got the pneumonia. You can see how bad it's affected their lungs on their chest x-ray. Um, so it all just depends on their symptoms and their vital signs. You know, somebody that's sick with the pneumonia usually gets admitted just for observation, but a lot of people get sent home as well to monitor and just quarantine. How has this changed the protocol that you go through in starting your shifts, leaving your shifts, and then how has it affected your personal life going home after being around cases and, and how often are you tested to protect your family and, and those around you? So we're taking precautions. Um, we don't allow more than a few nurses in the break room at once. We make sure that we're six feet apart and wearing masks except for eating or drinking. Um, and then for me, when I get home, I've always been one to take my shoes off in the garage to put my clothes in the washing machine immediately. So I haven't changed a whole lot. I've always been a little conscientious of the gross stuff that can come from the ER. <laughs> Um, and then my personal life, you know, I'm just, I'm just really careful at work so that I don't bring this home to my husband and my son. You and your co-workers have to work as a team, uh, not only during the pandemic in general as a nurse. As a student athlete, you had the experience those years at UT Dallas working for a team towards a common goal. How has being a student athlete affected and changed you to make you a better nurse? I feel like being a student athlete or just playing sports, being on a team teaches you so much real life um, lessons and you know it teaches you how to get along with people, how to work as a team. You have to rely on your co-workers the ER. There's no way you can do it all by yourself. You know, when, when I'm gowned up in a room, I rely on my co-workers to bring me the stuff to the room so that I'm not going in and out. You know, hard work, getting through difficult situations, that all was things that I learned being on the basketball team as well.